Howdy, partners. I'm back in the saddle again. Hi, welcome to Canis Pater Christmas. So thank you so much for being patient with me. Uh, I started making progress on the huge branch that fell off the tree in the backyard that scared the heck out of my wife. She wasn't hurt, by the way, and thankfully the dogs were inside at the time. And I'm about to put the legs on this table uh, for Kathy. It may not look too pretty but that thing is gonna last for a hundred years um i got some new toys so there's gonna be some new videos about them soon did i miss anything else uh what have i been doing the last month other than youtube oh oh yeah <laughs> I created an online course about RGB pixels. <laughs> so yeah, that is what has been taking all my free time lately. The course is designed for someone with no experience with pixels. It wants to learn enough to get the, a show up and running. If you already run a show, then you already know most of the information. I did do a section on X lights where I go through all of the model creation process. I'm going to name this string fence one and go down to appearance and change the pixel size to three instead of the default two. This is not a requirement. It just looks a little brighter on the preview and it does not affect your actual display. Also, when you choose your model names, make them so they can be grouped and sorted. So no front fence, back fence kind of thing. Just fence one and fence two will sort a lot better and they'll be easier to group together. You might also want to put a zero in front of the number so that if you ever go over 10 models of something, they will still sort properly. I do a quick uh, sequencing technique. that I've got a couple of videos on that anyway. Once you have your timing track, right click on the all house group and choose insert layer below. And do that one more time so you end up with three layers for the all house group. Zoom out so you can see the entire sequence, then press and hold the mouse and then drag to the end of the sequence so that you're selecting all the cells for all three layers. Let the mouse go, right click and choose create random effects. X lights will choose an effect at random, randomize the settings and colors, and it'll do that very quickly. And I do th go through the setup uh, tab, similar to what Keith did in his long video on X lights that uh, shows you how to program a controller. Right click on one of the universes for the controller and choose upload to controller. E1.31 input definitions or the universes that the controller will listen for. And we have a Falcon. Press yes and notice the message Falcon input upload complete. So if you're a complete X lights noob or you're not familiar with that part of it and you want to learn it, section three of the course might be useful to you. The course is available on Udemy um, and I will put a link to in the description of this video. And if you stumble across this video in the future and you're trying to learn this stuff, check it out. It's a quick structured way to come up to speed on running pixels. Uh, there's a couple of reasons I did this. One was simply just to go through the process to learn how to do it. My reasoning was that I would, you know, learn something to help me make better YouTube videos. Um, I know better is kind of a relative term, so you may not notice a difference, but I did make a couple of changes to my production process, so, so I feel better anyway. 
The, the other thing is that Udemy has got over 20 million students. So there is a possibility that I can bring some new people into the hobby. And so I'm kind of a pixel evangelist, so that fits in with what I'm doing here. Do I plan on making more courses? Who knows? Um, I'm interested to see how this one does first. Actually, I'd like to get some feedback from you guys uh, about this since you already know the material. I mean, does it does it cover everything a new person would need to know? Is it organized in a manner to where you could start off knowing nothing and at the end of it, would you know enough to set up your own show? That's really kind of what it's designed for. Um, was it entertaining? Did you learn anything? You know, I mean, if you have time, it's uh, about 24 lectures and about an hour and a half in length. YouTube promotes videos based on what the algorithm, you know, based on views and what the algorithm thinks you want to see. Udemy promotes courses based on ratings. So the, the, the higher the ratings, the more ratings a class has, the more they are willing to promote it to their students. So if you take the course and you like the course, please leave a nice rating, couple of sentences about why you like it or why you think it was valuable. If you come across anything that needs changing, please let me know that too. I wanna to make it the best course that I can. Udemy discounts all the courses that they host. So most of them are like 10 or $20. It really just depends on the sale that they are running at the time. I valued my course at $199 because that's the maximum that they will allow. Nobody pays that. So I think it's kind of a perceived value kind of thing where, hey, I'm getting a $200 course for 10 bucks. Anyway, it's in the can. It's deployed. It's a wrap. It's alive. So now we can get back to our regularly scheduled program. The next video that I'm working on, well, that would be this one, but, but the one after that, I'm kind of excited about. It's going to be a game changer. It might take me a couple of weeks because it's kind of a big deal. If you can't wait that long, check out the course, because I do talk about it a little bit in the course. So be just a little bit more patient with me, and but it's a video you don't want to miss. Trust me. Game changer. If you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thank you for being patient. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Game changer. And all the dogs are...